Rockin' and rollin' and smidgens of Disney. Star Wars and Goonies and Raw Eddie Murphy. Pretty much anything at Field Sing. Ah, this is just one of Smith's favorite things. them talking about the first time they did an award show. It was like, can't even fucking turn it up, man. I was sitting here like this. Or probably like this. <laughs> oh wait, that's later. Can't tell if this is true or true. Deep down inside I feel the scream. This terrible silence stops me. Now that the war is through with me, I'm waking up, I cannot see that there's not much left I fucking to saw his Captain, I, that stuck with me more than now. almost anything was the Captain Not Crunch Brent shirt. I'm like, that's fucking cool. Oh, that's like the one Metallica shirt I've wanted my whole life. <laughs> Guns N' Roses was the hardest I got. me that it's an abbreviated version of the song. Obviously, they couldn't play seven minutes on the fucking award shows. Like, this performance hit me as hard as when I was about ten. I saw fucking Paint It Black from the Stones on a live TV show, and I was like, what the fuck is that? That was the first realization that I like not nice music. This was the second time. <laughs> I wish they would show, would have shown crowd reaction to this shit. It would have been like. That's scary for a fucking old It was like watching a nightmare. People in this crowd realized they were fucking seeing greatness. <laughs> I 
fucking love like Billy Crystal's response uh, to that. And it's similar to when they won the Grammys in the 90s on the MTV Awards or the Grammys. 91, 92. When Whoopi that Goldberg song, of was course, like, uh, was written by Steve Allen. They don't even know what to do. Like, to most of these fucking people, it's just, like, loud, you know? <laughs> now, now, to present the nominees in the category Hard Rock Metal Performance, here is a lady who, at the age of 16, was a lead singer with the first all-girl heavy metal group, The Runaways, and has since gone on to even greater heights as a solo artist with three powerful albums I don't think of her own. Was the lead She's singer. joined tonight by one of the legends of rock. Extreme was the label the that Runaways. was first attached to him, but always beneath the surface of shock was a powerful musician. Here are Lita Ford and the man who gave LaToya the snake, Alice Cooper. LaToya Jackson jumps throwing back. And the best part of this is that this was a fucking... The best hard rock metal performances are. This was the million dollar question on who wants to be a millionaire. Blow up your video, ACDC. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cold metal, Iggy Pop. Yeah. Rest of a knave, Jethro Tull. Everybody's like, Jethro Tull? What? <laughs> Nothing shocking, Jane's Addiction. And the great Jane's Addiction was around the early, late yeah, 80s. That's here. when they come out. I always Someone. thought of Jane's Addiction oh, no, as that's not it. Here. <laughs> Alice, I told you to leave your pets at home. I'm sorry. God. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Rock they wouldn't let me weird. bring the real one. Uh, and the winner is Crest of a Knave, Jethro Tull. Like, everybody was like, oh, Metallica's going to fucking win this. And no shit. 100%. Divvy it up backstage. Uh, nope.